Inspections by Works Minister Francis Awesa on the affected roads and bridges will start on Thursday with West New Britain, Medang and then parts of the Highlands Highway. The continued wet weather pattern has washed away bridges in these parts of the country, leaving hundreds of commuters stranded and affecting businesses. The Department of Works is faced with funding constraints as the total cost to restoring all these damaged infrastructures exceeds this year's budget appropriation for road maintenance. We have this year in the budget 35 million kina. This uh, amount of money, of course, is not enough to cater for all uh, 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 restoration, restoration work that uh, is required to be undertaken by the works department. But the main thing is that we, have, we are on top of this situation. The works department, our works engineers in all the provinces have taken uh, control and taken charge of all this. The cost is uh, 80 million. Uh, we have in the budget around uh, 35 million. Uh, so the shortfall of uh, 45 million, uh, which we will have to uh, find somewhere to, uh, to, to restore uh, services, much needed services uh, in the provinces. Bridges, uh, national highways, uh, district roads, provisional roads. However, Minister Wessa says Prime Minister Peter O'Neill and the Chief Secretary to Government are well briefed on the extent of damage caused by the weather. It's, it's been fully briefed. The uh, Secretary is going to visit uh, and brief the Chief Secretary. Everyone has been uh, briefed about the damages to infrastructure, but we're on the top side. He said despite the efforts made for restoration works throughout the country, Funding allocation needs a quick response from the government through National Executive Council's approval. All works managers in the affected provinces have been authorized to proceed with temporary restoration with available contractors. Michelle Amba, National MTV News.